Hey guys, let's get more news about SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. 49ers DC Nick Sorensen is ecstatic seeing the DL. Out with the old, in with the new. That was the approach the San Francisco 49ers took in the offseason for their defensive line. The entire position is practically filled with new players. Nick Boza and Javon Hargrave are the only returning impact players at the position from last season. San Francisco had to make a change there. The defensive line wasn't as dominant as it could be last season, especially at defensive tackle. It has been the strength of the defense for the most part since 2019. For them to not be at their usual standard in 2023 was a bummer. However, 2024 is looking like the year where the defensive line returns to their absolute game-wrecking dominance. They seem to already be looking better in training camp so far as defensive coordinator Nick Sorensen has been ecstatic from he is seeing out of the group. It's been great. The whole group has been really fun to work with and watch and see how they work, said Sorensen. Jordan, Elliot is so explosive, he's so powerful and he's got some movement too, but he's explosive. He's so big. He's a lot bigger than you think. You stand next to him, and he does have very powerful hands. And Malik, Collins, is very dynamic, moves really well, but he also has that power too. And you're seeing that from, Javon, Hargrave and from Kevin, Givens, and Kalia, Davis, and really all those guys, T.Y., McGill. Just the whole group. You're seeing them compete and seeing those explosive dynamic guys that we like, that can move, but also have power and it's just, it's fun to watch them all compete. Elliot and Collins got the bigger highlight than the others, but that is because they are the ones who are replacing Arik Armstead and Javon Kinlaw. Elliot takes on the run-stuffer role with pass-rushing capability like Kinlaw. Collins takes on the overall disruptive nature that Armstead had except will be healthier. The rest of the players should be solid in spurts. The same goes for the edge rushers like Yetter Gross Mottos. San Francisco really needs these players to become successful so that they don't look like they are underachieving again like last season. Why DJ Moore's $110 million Bears contract is good for 49ers WR Brandon Ayuk. The San Francisco 49ers are in a contract standoff with Brandon Ayuk. San Francisco has been trying to extend the young star for the whole summer, but the two sides haven't been able to agree to terms. Meanwhile, the price that Ayuk will demand for an extension could be climbing as other wide receivers around the league ink lucrative extensions. Ian Rappaport spoke about the DJ Moore extension and its implications for Brandon Ayuk on NFL Network's Inside Training Camp Live earlier today. I would also say for receivers who are still trying to get paid, like Brandon Ayuk, for example. Seeing DJ Moore make $27 probably further solidifies his case that that's where he should be in the $27 to $28 million range rather than the $25 range, Rappaport said. So a good day all around for DJ Moore and some other receivers. It will be interesting to see if Moore's extension does move the needle in Ayuk's negotiations. One way this could become clear is if Ayuk signs an extension that looks similar to Moore's in the new future. We could also examine the terms of a future Ayuk extension, regardless of who he signs it with, and see where it compares to Moore's on an average annual basis. Either way, the DJ Moore extension is one more stepping stone in increasing the NFL wide receiver market. That is good for anyone at the position who needs a new contract over the next few years. One byproduct of Ayuk's contract situation is its effect on the rest of the 49ers as a team. Debo Samuel recently spoke with NFL Network's Omar Ruiz and David Carr during Monday's training camp practice. Samuel was honest about his feelings related to Ayuk's holdout. Overall, it's a tough situation, Samuel said when talking about Ayuk's contract holdout. Going through it in 2022, it's just some things you take personal that don't need to be taken personal. Overall, it's just a stressful process because, at the end of the day, 
you want what you think you deserve, and your team got to work with this team, and it's so much back and forth. Ayuk is still present at 49ers training camp, but he is not stepping foot on the practice field. This is a positive development because Ayat cannot be fined for not showing up to camp, and the team still gets to benefit from him being in team meetings. It's just like sometimes it gets stressful because, at the end of the day, you want to be out here with your guys, and want to be out here practicing, Samuel continued. But overall, you want what you deserve. So, at the end of the day, something has to give, something has to work out. But I feel like something's gonna happen, hopefully. Brandon Ayuk creates buzz with appearance at 49ers camp. After an incredible 2023 NFL season in which the San Francisco 49ers were able to win the NFC West and clinch the top seed in the conference, resulting in a run to the Super Bowl, the team is dealing with a lot of turmoil and uncertainty right now with the start of this season only a few weeks away. Along with arguably one of the best offensive linemen in the NFL, Trent Williams, holding out for a new contract, the 49ers brass is also trying to get a deal done with star wide receiver Brandon Ayuk, who intends to secure a lucrative long term deal before the start of the 2024 campaign. Although Williams' holdout came out of nowhere and potentially blindsided the organization, Ayuk has been angling for a new deal ever since the 49ers lost to the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl in February. He has gotten increasingly frustrated with the negotiation process, but that didn't stop him from showing up to training camp, and it seems as though he still has a healthy relationship with head coach Kyle Shanahan and general manager John Lynch, as shown in a clip via RSF 49ers. At this point, the 49ers and Ajax representation haven't been able to agree on a new deal, and there's no telling whether that will happen before week one in early September. It's not out of the realm of possibility that the 49ers will grant Ajax's request to be traded rather than sign him to a lucrative contract extension. While San Francisco 49ers wide receiver Brandon Ayuk is looking for a big contract extension that some feel he isn't worth, one of his teammates did take one for the team by accepting a pay cut to stay put. Fullback Kyle Yushtik had his deal restructured, and he will make $9.1 million over the next two seasons. He previously signed a five-year, $27 million extension with San Francisco in 2021. Yushtik admitted that he felt hurt when he was presented with that restructuring offer, but in the end, he accepted it because he likes the situation he's in with the 49ers, per 95.7 the game. Obviously, I wasn't too happy when I was first presented with that, Yushtik said. At the end of the day, I feel like I have the best opportunity in the world to play with the Niners. Many NFL teams in the modern era don't really use a fullback in their offensive sets, as the game has become more pass-friendly over the past couple of decades or so, but the Niners utilize Yushtik in more ways than one. He doesn't just block for his teammates, he can also catch passes and even run the football when needed. In 2023, he had 14 catches for 119 yards and two touchdowns, and was named to the Pro Bowl for the eighth straight year while making the All-Pro first team for the first time. He also played a role in helping running back Christian McCaffrey lead the NFL in rushing yards, make both the Pro Bowl and All-Pro first team, and win the Offensive Player of the Year award. San Francisco has built a selfless culture where everyone is expected to play for each other no matter how few touches they get, and perhaps no one epitomizes that selflessness more than Yushtik. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Brandon Ayuk? Leave your opinion in the comments.